Hey guys, it's Christina Selena reporting from two parts of the world. And today I'm going to be the one embarrassing myself by trying to guess some Cantonese expressions that don't really translate to English so well. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to say the expression in Cantonese, and then I'm going to say what it directly translates to in English, and then you're going to have to guess, like, in what, like, context would we use that in, or what, or what does it mean, and if you don't know, then I will try to put it in a sentence for you, and then you can guess again. All right. Okay. Okay. So, the first <laughs> one is... Chui jern, which is blowing elephant. Blowing? Yeah, blowing elephant. That sounds dirty. What? No, like, you know how, like, is an elephant like... has, like, their trunk and they, like, blow, you know? Oh. Water or something. <laughs> I guess, is it, like, blowing things out of proportion? No. Not, not really. So it's like when you're talking to somebody or when somebody tells you something and it makes you blow elephant. Makes you mad? Yeah. It's like when you're like really, <laughs> really mad. Like when somebody says something and you're just like, what? Like, like, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. I thought the German ones were weird. <laughs> Yeah, so the next one is um, kind of similar in terms, like the first word is similar, but the second one is different, and it just means a completely different thing, okay? So it's chur sir, which is blowing water. There's a lot of blowing happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you put it in a sentence? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a group of friends are hanging out, and they're just chilling, and they're blowing water. Like, <laughs> like just talking about whatever? Yeah, it's like, like bullshitting. Okay, alright. It's, like it's like bullshitting. There's an American phrase for that, but I forget it. What? Bullshit? <laughs> Bullshit? Yeah, just like... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> sure. Thanks, Christina. My English teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> um, the next one is hop cho, which directly translates to drinking vinegar. Hmm. Drinking vinegar. I don't know. Let's say you're dating someone, and then you come and tell me, oh my boyfriend is hanging out with his girl um, so that makes me very mm -hmm. hop cho jealous yeah it's jealousy okay <laughs> so I guess you're doing <laughs> when you're jealous <laughs> I'm gonna start using okay. that so nobody knows when I'm jealous <laughs> uh, so you can turn to me and just be like hop cho <laughs> 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 um, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, pronunciation. Okay. Yay! So, uh, so the next one is kind of lengthy. Uh, it's Lai My Teen Churn, which directly translates to Let's Close the Curtains. Is it like Let's Close the Chapter? Of like. Like, move on? No. Or it's like, it's okay. like closing the curtains. Sorry. Like, closing the curtains. Not past tense. Closing. Hmm. Keeping to yourself? Mm-mm. So, you know how we always complain about how we're at a certain age, and everyone is doing this thing, and we're still, like, I don't know, planning our next trip to, like, Cancun or something? <laughs> Everybody's getting married? Yeah, so it's like when you're closing the curtains, you're getting married. 
Oh. That sounds kind of dirty now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, we're married Wait, I now. Don't think it's <laughs> It is now. Um, the <laughs> show's over. Now. The show's over. We're closing the curtain. I guess that does make sense. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Kind of. <laughs> so the next one. You hate it when people do this. Like, like it would be like your worst pet peeve beyond being late. Okay. So the next one is okay. Fong Fei Ge, which is letting the airplane go um i gave you a really big hit because you would hate this letting the airplane go like not waiting not waiting for someone that's late close close a couple people did this to you in madrid Oh, <laughs> flaking? Yes. It's like when somebody stands you up. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you're just going to be like, someone just let the airplane go. <laughs> That's how you're going to start talking to me. <laughs> so the next one is so may, which is hand tail. Hand tail. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hmm. This one's not giving me any clues. I'm. I'm just saying that I think I have pretty good hand tail. <laughs> 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 um. It deals with like, it's like everyday. It's like an everyday action. It's an everyday common sense type of action. No. No. But I do have common sense, let's, just to be clear. Hygiene? But that's not what it is. No. It's something that okay. your parents I'm... teach you. Or a guardian. Manners? Yes. It's like when you pick up after yourself. Like you have good hand, tail, like you're picking up after yourself. Yeah. Oh. I think that one makes sense. Okay. That one makes sense. I guess so, kind of, in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, now we can be like, that, that person doesn't that. have hand tail. <laughs> yeah, like, you can definitely say that. We, we can talk about people now. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Except no. now we're putting it on the internet, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All our secrets. The next one is, um, <laughs> the next one is hum sup, which is salty water. Is it when you're salty? No, it's not when you're salty. Um, let's just say you attract a lot of these when you wear your white shorts. Your white booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty men? Yeah, like perverts. They're perverts. Like, <laughs> they're salty and they're wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not my fault the white shorts just look good, okay? Jesus. There was this one time we were in Barcelona and she just bought these shorts and we were walking around like the corners. Okay, like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I never, I never, never find like pants or shorts that like fit me. And these ones like fit perfectly. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So, um, there's always, like, restaurants on corners with, like, seats and stuff, right? And we were walking to the club, and we we're like, do 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 And then, like, she walked by, and, like, the whole, like, corner of men, of salty, wet men, <laughs> just, like, clapped. Disgusting. They clapped. <laughs> they clapped and they, they cheered or something. <laughs> God, and we're like, I can't okay. go anywhere. We're like, okay, we gotta keep going. <laughs> and stop shaking your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Not shaking my butt. Stop shaking. Stop shaking it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Um, we have three more. Um, the next one is sup, sup, sir, which is wet, wet crumbs. 
No. Why would crumbs be No. <laughs> Is it also about men? No, it's not about men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Um, see, now, now you know how difficult I was being, or well, feeling, <laughs> the other day. Um, so, let's say we go to the store and you forgot your wallet and you wanted, I don't know, a bag of Haribos or something. And I spot you and then, you know, you're like, oh, I'll be back. And I'm just like, oh, you know, it's sup, sup, sir. It's like wet, wet crumb. It's just like pocket change. Yeah, it's like, like it's not a big deal. Thing. Like you can use it in terms of like oh, not money not as well. Like just not a big deal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one isn't really. It's not funny, um, but it's something that I never thought about when I was a kid. That it directly translates to something else. Um, but when we but we use it for. We use it for both meanings. But we we say the same thing, which was which is weird. Uh, so it's sick fun, and that's just eat rice. So we do use it eat to rice. like be like eat rice, but we also mean something ah. else. Oh, so it has a double meaning. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it like eat shit? I don't know. If that's no, it's not like eat shit. <laughs> that would be very confusing. <laughs> I right? like rice, by the way. <laughs> Uh, give me a hint. Um, it's like... Okay, okay, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's like, okay. bon appetit. It's like, let's eat? Yeah, or like, provecho. It's like, ah, okay. let's eat. Like, dinner, or okay. like... But we say it for like, any meal, really. If you're like with other people and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So oh, cool. the last one, uh, I actually just learned myself. Um, my dad was telling me this, and I was just like, "Why would you call someone that?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but it's it's an it's another word that means what it it is, but it's also a double meaning. Um, So the last one is Dean Dun Dum, which is light bulb. Um, so yeah, it does mean light bulb, but you can use it in another instance. Well, is it mean? Like to describe, huh? Is it mean? Yeah. Did you say it's a mean? Yeah, uh, it's not mean, it's just, it's like, but it's something to describe like an action that somebody is doing oh because i was thinking like dim but anyways uh this is the last one i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. it's <laughs> i'm really bad at like this a... <laughs> it's okay i was really bad at this too the other day um <laughs> so you would usually use this term if somebody is third wheeling because they're like glaring, like a light bulb. Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn, that's my life. No. I just glare yeah. at other couples. <laughs> You're just a light bulb. I think that sounds better than glaring. <laughs> so the next time you walk next to a couple, just be like, I'm just a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. that's 10 for you. <laughs> nice, that was, that was difficult. <laughs> Um, tune in for Thursday for our design series. And every Monday we have the story time or, you know, just something fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.